Felicitous greetings, fellow fanatics. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Adam the Fanatic. As you're likely already aware, I'm an avid fan of both video games and tabletop games. I've mentioned Tabletop Simulator a number of times in my videos, but that's not the only option out there. So today I'm going to be taking a comparative look at Tabletopia, Tabletop Playground, and Tabletop Simulator. I'll be going over the pros and cons of each to help you decide which is right for you. Going in alphabetical order, let's start with Tabletopia. Released in 2016, Tabletopia's biggest strength is the amount of official support it gets. Indeed, all of the games that you see on their service are officially authorized by the designers of the games in question. On the other hand, this means that you're unable to share mods with your friends and simply play that way. The other major advantage it holds over its competitors, it's free. Now keep in mind, some games within Tabletopia do have to be purchased separately as DLC, while others require you to subscribe to their premium service. But there are a lot of games to choose from, even if you're just trying it out as a free player. It's also cross-platform, playable on Steam, Android, or even right in a web browser. On the downside, it has by far the clunkiest controls out of the three. And while I've yet to have any troubles with such myself, I see a lot of reviews both on Steam and the Google Play Store complaining of technical issues that prevented players from being able to enjoy the service. Nonetheless, since it is free, there's no harm in giving it a try and seeing if it suits your needs. You can always delete it and move on to another if you're unsatisfied. Next up is Tabletop Playground. The newcomer of the trio, Playground released in 2020 and comes with a price tag of 15 USD. Running in Unreal Engine 4, Playground has the best graphics of the trio, allowing it to comfortably support higher polygon models without slowdown. Its controls are comfortable, and if you're familiar with Tabletop Simulator in particular, it won't take long for you to adjust to them. The games that are there run great, however, the biggest problem is the lack of games for Playground. Tabletopia has been around for more than four years, and Tabletop Simulator nearly six. Both have built up respectable libraries of games, both old and new alike, while Tabletop Playground is still trying to get its footing, with less than a year behind it. As a result, the selection of games is very limited in comparison. You have far fewer players than the other two. That being said, it does show a lot of promise, and I hope options will continue to expand over time. Finally, we have the one that started this niche genre, Tabletop Simulator. Released in 2015, Tabletop Simulator will set you back 20 USD. Tabletop Simulator forced away by making a control scheme which was good enough that Playground almost directly copied it. Being the first game of its kind, Simulator can be a bit clunky in ways. The way it handles downloading mods is particularly odd. You don't download all the data for the mod itself, instead you're effectively just downloading a bunch of links which will load in when you attempt to load up the mod. This can cause things to slow down quite a bit while you're setting things up. Like Tabletopia, Simulator has a number of premium DLCs you can purchase, though by far the biggest draw of Simulator is its community. Tabletop Simulator has an absolutely massive amount of mods available on the Steam Workshop, and beyond that, the Workshop isn't even required to load mods in. There's a large, active community for the game, and it's constantly seeing more games added as a result. On the downside, the engine is quite clunky and can run a lot slower than a game with its simplicity should run if you don't have a decent computer. Berserk Games also seems to be very slow to fix bugs, or even acknowledge them. And it's not just player reports that are the problem, they also seem to have trouble communicating with their business partners. According to Far Off Games, the official Zia DLC was planned to update with the Embers of a Forsaken Star expansion back in 2019, but it seems that Berserk has severely dropped the ball on the matter. So, which tabletop emulator is your best bet? I hope the details given here have helped you form your own opinion on the matter, but as a point of personal preference, I prefer Tabletop Simulator. Not because the underlying game itself is the best, but rather because of the vast selection of games to play, as well as the fact it's what all my friends have. That being said, I do believe that Tabletop Playground has the potential to surpass it. The problem is, it needs to pull in a community to do such. It's sort of a catch-22. Nobody wants to play it because there's not as many good mods for Tabletop Playground. And nobody wants to make mods for Tabletop Playground because it doesn't have as much of an audience. Only time will tell if Tabletop Playground can manage to build up the inertia to get over this initial hurdle. But what about you? Which of the three do you prefer? If you have any questions, remarks, or posing points of view, leave them in the comments down below. And please remember to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell. Until next time, farewell, fellow fanatics.
Thank you again for watching. I have plenty more to share with you if you're interested. You can click up here above my head to subscribe to my channel. You can click over here on my monitor to see the most recent video that I've worked on. Or if you prefer, you can click up here to open this mysterious vault and see what video that the YouTube algorithm has picked just for you.